Hi everyone, Fongo here from the Poultry People and today we're going to do a video about uh, welding and we're going to cover the welder because a mate of mine was asking me about the welder and I just basically took the piss out of him because he's a goit and so I, this is the proper video for the arc welder it's a Sealy arc welder, basic stuff uh, it runs uh, I presume this is positive that's negative there and you turn it on it sends power through one and it makes a spark by arcing, hence the name Arc Welder. We also fit a rod in there and there's loads of different types of rods that you can get. Common ones are 2.5mm and 3.2mm. If I'm doing gas bottle stuff I'm using 2.5mm, sometimes 3.2mm. 3.2 is for like heavier stuff like this. 3.2 is great, it's very brutal, it really heats the steel up around it and makes it liquefy into itself. Because what we're trying to do is join this onto there and actually have it have the steel melt into that steel and it become one piece. So the arc welder itself, it's very simple. You've got an on-off button, that's the overheat, and this is the power setting. You set the power depending on the type of rod that you're using. So if you're using a 2.5, you set it down to uh, 80 amps. I'm, I'm running 3.2s, so I'm running around about 115 amps. And it'll run quite nicely, and I'll burn through about three of these rods quickly, if I'm doing a big job, like when I was doing the horseshoes the other day. I was burning through three rods, and then it was overheating. Mild steel, it's great for that. Little nice little projects like this. This is what we're going to make today. Over the years, this type of shit builds up. And there's more somewhere. So you, you've got to either take them to the scrapyard, which at the moment is worth, worthless, or you've got to make something out of them. So I thought, I've got five minutes free. I've been dying to make these for a while. Let's make a spider. Is there anything else I can talk about the fucking arc welder? Google it. There's loads of different rods you can get for welding different metals to different metals. Vast subject. Uh, let's do use this for our body. Normally, when I'm working on, on a gas bottle, I'll connect the negative, the earth, to the to the bottle, and I'll I'll weld it on there. But today, I'm connecting it directly to this steel table. So as soon as I put work down on it. It's, it's ready to weld. Let's get out there. I've got to be really careful. I don't fucking melt my camera or well, telephone as it is, because I've already melted my camera. So what else have we got going on? We've got a, a glove, single glove. That's for holding the work in place while you weld onto it. Be careful you don't arc through yourself into uh are you going floof Psst. floof where are you going Psst. Oi. Psst. just comes to my house it's been sleeping there all night fed it give it some little huggums and then it just wanders off Okay, so yeah, be careful you don't uh, weld through yourself onto there so you, because you might electrocute yourself and that'll hurt a little bit. Trousers, go over your boots. I was welding in shorts this morning and what was happening was the welds were going down into my boots and burning my feet. You'll get a welder, shit welding mask, with your arc welder. I've thrown mine away, it broke I think. Buy yourself one of these. For about 23 quid off eBay, it's auto darkening. So when it sparks, it goes dark, and it gives you both hands free. You don't have to keep flipping your visor up and down to see what's going on. Because those ones that have just got a filter on them, they're just constantly dark. So invest in one of these, they're, they're, they're really worthwhile grabbing. This doesn't normally look like that, this has just fallen to bits. There's usually a housing around here, so make sure that the nuts are periodically tightened otherwise it'll just end up like uh, this. It still works. Power on, strike it, 
and so you get the end hot. Okay, now that's ready to go now. If you, I'm rushing today, okay? Now if I did this... If you, if you clean the steel first, you get a better weld. What I'm saying. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create a pool of molten steel and I'm trying to drag it across in little, in little seas very slowly it's, it's something that takes quite a while to master I probably never will uh, I can just do the best that I can and take it take your time the slower you take it the better but not too slow that it burns a hole in your steel or what more we use the old water pipe and you see it's covered in paint, so it's gonna it's gonna not adhere very well. The weld's gonna be terrible, so I have to grind some of that off. I'm quite happy with that. So now it's time to just give it a quick clean up. Um, well, that stayed quite cool. This is a weak point. This will melt on a cheap one. You'll have to replace it. I've replaced this with a, a cheap jumper lead clip. Like that, you might want to replace that uh, eventually. But I've had this two years now. It's an umpteen project. The CB140 XD arc welder. I can recommend it for people who want to do a bit of welding every now and again or even you know quite a lot of welding because it's done a lot of welding I think the cheapest I saw it was 83 quid which isn't too bad for what you're getting Okay, so I wasn't quite happy with the way that turned out with just these bits at the front. So I got hold of an old spanner and cut it off. And I bent a spanner for the tail, so it's now more of a scorpion. It's probably not an anatom anatomically correct, but if you look down here, just under its tail, you can see a bum hole. So that's pretty much it, really easy welding project make something out of the old bits you got lying around your workshop and it's good practice for your welding skills anyway thanks very much for watching all the best do the tacking a cat with it now can we